Hello and welcome to another lesson in the Video Editing 101 course. This is Chapter 6, Lesson 3. We're getting through them, so I hope you're enjoying this class. Today we're going to be talking more about titles and we're going to be talking about lower thirds. But first, did you know that in the movie The Field of Dreams, both Ben Affleck and Matt Damon are among the thousands of extras in the Fenway Park scene? That's amazing. I found this fact and I was wondering and I couldn't, I tried to research it, but I couldn't really find anything more. I was wondering if they were ju just there, you know, for the baseball game on accident, or if they were actually there as, as extras in, you know, um, as uh, for the movie. Um, because the, I know there are some shots from the, ac from actual games, but of course when they're shooting, they, you know, add extras for the close-ups and stuff. Anyways, Feel of Dreams, watch it. Lower thirds, um, what are they? You know, you've seen them before, I know you have, when you're watching, you know, a documentary or just a, any interview on TV, you see the guy talking or the girl talking and then their name pops up with a little subtitle that says what they are or where they're from, what they do. Um, so they're basically for explanation. What information do you want to include? That's up to you, but typically um, you include their name and their title if they're a doctor or something like that or president even, you know, you put their title. And then underneath, you know, you will add something um, that describes who they are or where they're coming from. So if you're making a video about um, cancer research and you're interviewing a doctor um, from a hospital, you would add the name of the, the hospital down below and say, you know, maybe um, head doctor at blah, blah, blah hospital. Or if you're interviewing someone, a, a baseball player, Derek Jeter, for example, you're going to put Derek Jeter, shortstop of the New York Yankees, down below. And there are some standard uh, places to do this, um, but really it is uh, up to you. Um, but there is a standard place because, after all, it is called a lower third, and there's a reason for that. So let's get into Final Cut Pro. In the footage that I supplied for you, there is a lower thirds clip. Um, it is a clip from um, an interview with my grandfather that actually my little brother shot and, or did. I was filming and he was asking the questions. So we're gonna add a lower third. Um, the easiest way to do this is through the text. Um, there's a lower third box uh, or actual a lower third option and this gives you just one simple way to add grandpa and a description my dad's dad and you can take that back and add it over this clip but of course that looks pretty basic and it doesn't really um, pop it doesn't really uh, it doesn't look professional so you definitely want to choose uh, a better font um, I really like Franklin Gothic um, as a font um, so I'll use that so maybe I'll use Franklin Gothic and I definitely want to use something from the same family so maybe I'll use Franklin Gothic medium um, and then I want to make that the subtitle a little bit smaller because it shouldn't be the same size as the title above. So that looks that looks pretty good. We could increase the size of the entire thing. You can actually do that over here in the canvas. If you click on the title, you can use these corners to make it bigger or decrease the size. To make it easier, you may need to zoom out of this, and to do that, you up here where there's the percentage, you can zoom out, and this gives you a better idea of how big and small your text should be. And of course, you can go back and fit to window, and that makes it the maximum size that it can. So that might even be a little bit too big, um, but you basically get the idea. One good uh, thing that you might you will need to use is adding drop shadows it makes it just stand out a little bit better and it makes 
your titles pop. Um, not necessary all the time, but it helps a lot. But the standard drop shadow that you add um, in Final Cut Pro uh, seems to be a bit much. So go over to the Motion tab um, whenever you click on your title, and there's this drop down menu for drop shadow. You click it, then it has this offset. Um, and that's basically how far is the shadow offset from your text or whatever the image is above it. And it's set at 2, but I like bringing it down to like 1.5 or 1.3. I like dropping the opacity down to maybe about 25. And even though it's a small change, it makes it, you know, a little bit more easily visible, especially if the background is lighter. Um, but it just makes it pop a little bit more, makes it seem a little bit, little bit more professional. Of course you can do this without using the lower thirds option. You can go to the normal um, title, just add text and add text um, and you add two texts um, to this and put them one on top of each other and that gives you a little bit more flexibility. This is the standard placement for a lower third. As you can see, it is actually in the lower third of the screen. That's why it's called lower third. But I've seen people, you know, put lower thirds up top, um, depending on the context of the video. And sometimes, you know, it's just too hard to see uh, a title that's down here, and you want to put it up in the sky or something that's up above. Um, and it just depends on, on who your viewer is and what the movie is about and what the feel is. So that's about it for titles. Of course, I can't go into too much more detail, but I have an activity. I want you to create a lower third for the supplied interview clip or for a project of your own. So just follow the steps and you'll be a mastered lower third creator. So if you need any help with a video project that you're working on or with this lesson, please contact me, and then again, if you have suggestions, hit me with them. Email me at ebener.udemy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I sure did, and I'll see you next time.